thank you very much, Danelle. I'd like to say a special thank you to Dr. Debbie Kilroy for, present, for presenting the fifth annual Brisbane Peace Lecture. It was important. And I think you really highlighted something that we've all got to appreciate. Peace begins in the home. And the victims of the conflict from being in homes has made victims be punished. And that is not correct. You really highlighted the need for us to see that there is justice and fairness needed for all. And I know that through your work and how you've been able to achieve in your own life, that you will also achieve for all those women and girls that you are helping directly. Um, I'd also like to thank the Reverend Ken and Dr. Marion Free for welcoming us here on behalf of the St. John's community. It's great that we have you as our host to be able to present this peace lecture in such a beautiful place. I'd also like to thank the Cottrell, especially in her beautiful voice. And we're going to have a few songs later on too. But I've also been asked to thank, first of all, Danielle, as now our president, and especially Vicky Henry, who has coordinated our, our program tonight. And she had the help of Clara, or Chrissa, uh, to do the, to do the um, a special program. Peace is being celebrated throughout the world. For example, there's an organisation, Peace One Day, where Jeremy Gilly from London is coordinating the world project of bringing peace to the whole world one day. It's a great project. But it is with regret, and it was with regret that yesterday, and very sad, we have leaders had to say that Australian Defence Services were part of killing 80 people that were not supposed to be killed. That is very sad. It is also not only the fifth peace, annual Brisbane Peace Lecture, it's also 50 years that we have had the Pine Gap facility, the American facility, operating in Australia. It is a surveillance facility that monitors everything that's occurring in just about all the global areas. It is an integral part of it. And just one aspect of this, the implications for all of us as Australians have got to appreciate that Pine Gap is integral in having drones operating in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Leaked intelligent documents have shown that strikes launched in Afghanistan killed 90% of the time they kill innocents. And that has been perpetrated from and helped and supported through Pine Gap. The Independent and Peaceful Australian Network has highlighted the need to really look at should we, as Australians, have to accept that we are part of an organisation that allows those drones to occur around the world. However, with regret, there is also the work that's been done by David, but I really believe we've got to highlight something. In Queensland, there are organisations that are looking for peace. The United Nations organises global citizenship schools. One of those schools is the Kukuru State School. They celebrated the International Day of Peace last Friday, the last day of the school term. It was selected by the students as a global citizen school by the student leaders and student council. And what they did on that day, they wore white, they raised a thousand dollars for soup for the refugee children from Syria, 
they had a minute's silence at 12 o'clock and they were promoting peace in all classrooms and playgrounds all day, every day. And I just want to read, this is the pledge that those students from the Cooperoo State School pledged on the 16th of September. I pledge to use my words to speak in a kind way. I pledge to help others as I go throughout my day. I pledge to care for our earth with my healing heart and hands. I pledge to respect people in each and every land. I pledge to join together as we unite the big and the small. I pledge to do my part, create peace for one and all. I believe, as global citizens, if those kids are there, we're going to be in safe hands in the years to come. I'd now like to ask Danelle to come up and do some, some presentations, if you could, before we have the uh, closing part of our